Good afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for hopping on. I um, am Irma Mast. I shared in my last video that I will be doing some of my salvation testimony, um, an updated one. I think I did one about a year ago, maybe two years ago. And I wanted to do an updated one. I had some requests on for this. So I grew up in the church. Um, I was born and raised, probably went to church before I was born. Um, and so I knew about God all my life. I knew that God existed, never really doubted that. Um, I saw him everywhere, every, every, in everything. Um, my mom was a born again, is a born again Christian. So she had a lot of good examples for me. She, um, I could just see in her life that she practiced and she had a rela real relationship with God. Um, I heard a lot of Bible stories. Um, about different things and I never so I think the core value of just understanding that the Bible is real the Bible is there's truth that was never a question and never an issue for me so in um, just growing up I would say I was a fairly happy-go-lucky carefree child up until I was about 12 13 um, my mom always says I just grew up overnight and I never could understand when I look back, I was like, um, okay, I get it now because when I was 13, I was in eighth grade in school. I love school. I love recesses for the most part, usually. I love sports and then always had a lot of friends. And, and my eighth grade was a little bit more of a tough year. I, um, I, the, the teachers weren't always out to play as much. And so I, um, we didn't play as well without the teachers. We didn't really play a nice game. Um, in the fall or spring, there would be softball was kind of our main game. And unfortunately, we never, like, there were more upper grade boys than girls. And so some of the girls just didn't try. And I was one of those that I wanted to play. So I tried my best in doing. And so when we played softball, they would make that I, we wouldn't, the other girl and I that helped, we wouldn't get balls. Um, we wouldn't catch flies um, in the winter time there were snowball fights boys against girls of course we had no chance um, other games we were always caught first um, it was just kind of a um, they would hide our water bottles they would pick up pins and I I just I don't know why it always kind of tickled me in a way because what do they want with these pins we use them for our dresses and we would lose some every now and then on the floor not a big deal but like what is I don't know but anyways it was a hard year it was a year that um, I kind of lost I lost the uh, looking forward to playing at Reese's I really dug into reading books I of, of, always have loved books and I really re read a lot of books and I remember playing it was winter um, and I had gone to the restroom and I was kind of afraid to come out because I knew that I would be blasted with snowballs and they weren't like super mean mean but the snowballs sometimes still hurt um and i was kind of afraid to come out because i was afraid i'd be blasted with snowballs and i just knelt in the in the restroom and i prayed that god would that the teachers would come out to play or something that i would be able to um the teacher would come out to play or that something would change and um kneeling was a form of prayer we that was something we practice at home and was something that is still a practice in that culture i grew up in the amish culture and in that culture is a practice to kneel nothing wrong with that um and i came out of the restroom and there was a kind of a hallway that was cemented and i came out of the restroom and at the end of that little hallway there we had outdoor restrooms and the teachers were out and there were a game was starting you know they were just kind of starting a game and i was like I remember it just stopped and I was, and I knew God had entered that prayer. Um, from then on, I, the recesses went a little bit better. The teachers were out to play more. Um, still a tough rest of the year, but it really clicked in me that I had someone to go to. Um, my dad was never really there emotionally, spiritually. My mom was often overwhelmed. She had 12, 11 kids. There were 13 of us in the house and so she was often overwhelmed with things to do and just with everyone and I wouldn't I didn't allow myself to um, to go to, to her for anything really in that way for emotional support I um, just kept it to myself I was 
the oldest one in school and so my siblings looked up looked up to me and I tried to help them in any way I can and um, but it really after that that was kind of when I realized looking back that mom says you just grew up and it was like when I started a relationship with God when I started that you know conversation in prayer and asking you know it started out with asking him for a lot of things and that's okay that's good we grow at right infants take and then with time we we realized it's a two-way conversation um, but that was the beginning of me um, I remember I started loving my siblings better like I had a true love for them and it wasn't that I didn't love them before um, I wanted to respect and obey my parents in a different way because I thought it was the right thing to do um, I I all of a sudden felt like I had someone like I didn't have people to open up to about my own you know whatever I was going through and so I felt I had someone to go to and I started reading the Bible I believe sometime within that next year I don't remember exact um, time and it was like I was just starved I, I just dragged up and sponged up um, the word the Bible and I would pray every day and um, I had I didn't know what it meant to be saved that isn't something that you know they talked about it in church about being saved but I had no idea what that meant or how to be saved it, it wasn't broken down in the steps of what you do or how exactly it works so I didn't know if I was saved um, I think for me at the time it was just it felt so good that I had someone and wasn't alone and um, I had a purpose it gave me a purpose to some for something to live for God and um, it was just an inner inner fulfillment that I couldn't explain and I didn't know what happened um, it wasn't until I was 19 and I was at a ministry place for counseling and mentorship mentorship and um, I was the new girl there and one of the others that was like I was just this quiet girl that didn't talk okay and I'm still a very much introverted quite quiet gal so I um I was there in the room and, and one of the staff came in and like I was a new girl and one of them was like is she born again and just kind of because we were talking about God and and one of them was like yeah you know she is and it, I remember it just confirmed like okay I'm like I'm a Christian I'm saved like I didn't know exactly what that meant we the, in the the church they would say if you believe and you are baptized you are saved it's in German um but that's how it's translated and and I was always like, well, yeah, I believe there's a God. I mean, whatever, but okay, like, I believe there's a God, but is that all? Like, is that all I need to believe? And um, I was baptized, and so, um, so I didn't know until then, and that gave me a good, like, confirmation. And through that minister place and in reading the Bible, I could understand more and more what it meant to be saved. But um, that was the beginning of my journey with Jesus. I didn't have anyone, I couldn't tell anyone. Like I, there was part of me, I, at one point, I would have liked to tell people about Jesus, but I had no idea how. I didn't know what happened within, you know, inside of me. And um, so I kept everything inside of me. I read a lot of, lot of scripture. Well, sorry, got a message. And, um, I read a lot of scripture and it was through reading, I would say scripture, and then later I got a Bible study that gave me a lot of hat notes and that is not scripture, but it did help me in my understanding of the Bible. And also um, just reading books, I read in books in school, like tons of books, I'm still a reader. And so um, I always knew people got saved, like there were missionaries and then people would get saved and their lives would change. But it was always interesting to me like we never had that happen yeah if someone it was always like when someone got baptized it was like positive yay but it wasn't yay he got saved or it was it was just like basically good like they it was so i just that was kind of that was my beginning when i look back i i recognize that was the, the when i had that change of heart and like my mom has even said you know i just grew up overnight and all of a sudden I was just like very mature and that kind of thing. And I believe that is why um, I, 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 it was, it, I knew something had happened. I didn't know, understand what it was. So 
I hope um, this is encouraging. It was definitely the best thing I've ever done. That relationship with Jesus, amazing. I still talk with him every day, pray, and it's a two-way conversation. I know what's happening now. Thank for thankful for that, and thankful for the people around me that have helped me understand um, more and more of Scripture and um, for the Bible. So so blessed.